PHP Storm 2021.3 has been released. In this video, we'll explore some of the new exciting features inside. In the previous 2021.2 version, we introduced support for PHP 8.1 enums, with code completion and highlighting for all kinds of syntax issues. Now, with the full release of PHP 8.1 available, PHP Storm supports all the other new features too. Just make sure that the project language level is set to PHP 8.1 which you can do either from the status bar or by specifying the requirement in composer.json. Read-only properties are properties that cannot be modified after initialization. PHP Storm will make sure that such properties are provided with the mandatory type declaration. A read-only property can only be initialized in the scope where it's declared, so PHP Storm will also highlight any errors of this kind. And since a read-only property cannot have a default value, you can use the provided quick fix and initialize it in the constructor as a promoted property. PHP 8.1 is introducing intersection types. The value of such a type must belong to all of the listed types. PHP Storm 2021.3 will provide code completion for such values. Since combinations with union types are not supported, PHP Storm will verify and highlight usages of this kind. Intersection types provided via PHP doc annotations are supported too. And you can use the provided quick fix to add a native type declaration. In PHP 8.1, there is a new never type available for return values. When a never return type is specified in the function or method declaration, this indicates that the function will not return a value and will either throw an exception or end the script's execution with a call of die, exit, trigger error, or something similar. With final class constants, you can declare a class constant that cannot be overridden in child classes. Note that in PHP 8.0 and earlier, constants and interfaces were implicitly final and you could not override them. But in PHP 8.1, they're not final by default. PHP 8.1 introduces the new first class callable syntax, which lets you get a reference to any function. In earlier versions of PHP, you would have to use the closure from callable syntax for this. PHP Storm will now let you migrate to the new syntax using a quick fix. PHP Storm will help you migrate your code safely. In PHP 8.1, you can only use the serializable interface if the implementing class has serialize and unserialize magic methods. Using the global superglobal variable in PHP 8.1 is now restricted. Write or read-write operations cannot be performed on the globals taken as a whole. PHP Storm will highlight such problematic usages. To reduce possible bugs when using functions that may return an array on success and false on error, PHP 8.1 will throw a depreciation notice on automatic conversions of false values to arrays, and PHP Storm will provide a quick fix to replace them with direct assignments. PHP Storm 2021.3 continues to improve its support for generics. We've added support for the Iterator Aggregate Interface and Template Annotations. As a result, iterating over Doctrine Collections now works out of the box. In the upcoming Laravel release, the Illuminate Collections package is getting generics annotations, and code completion for collection items is now available too. If there is a generic template parameter in a constructor, and you specify the type by passing an object as an argument, then PHP Storm will infer this type correctly and provide code completion. Lastly for generics, all annotations for generics are now supported uniformly. You can use either a psalm or PHP stand prefix, or just pure tags without prefixes. PHP Storm brings numerous improvements for deployment. If you use an SFTP server for deployment, Take a look at a couple of new options under Preferences, Build, Execution, Deployment that can dramatically improve file transfer speeds. In the Advanced section of the SFTP server configuration, you can now enable native rsync support. Another new option, Number of Connections, lets you enable multi-threaded deployment. If you have enabled rsync, make sure its path is provided under Preferences, Tools, rsync. Back to the Deployment Server settings, here, you can always mark a server as default so that it's always selected when performing deployment operations. In PHP Storm 2021.3, this can now also be done from the status bar. Simply click on the widget and switch to the server you'd like to use by default.
If you have multiple files open in tabs, you can now right-click on one of the tabs and select Upload All Open Files to upload them all at once. This command is also available under the Tools Deployment menu. Lastly, if uploading the files failed for some reason, you can now use the Retry link in the File Transfer Tool window and retransmit them in one click. In order to move a class and update its namespace in earlier PHP Storm versions, you'd have to open it in the editor and use the Move class Refactoring. Now it's possible to do this via drag and drop in the Project Tool window. What's more, you can move several classes or even entire folders in a similar way, and PHP Storm will update the namespaces and references accordingly. PHP Storm 2021.3 brings numerous improvements to the built-in HTTP client. First, you can now name your HTTP requests by providing an identifier, either as text in the request separator, or as a comment with name tag. You can then invoke a request by its name via the Run configuration, Run Anything, or Search Everywhere dialogs. Second, if a response is an image, the HTTP client will show a preview right in the response console. Lastly, the HTTP client can now redirect output to an arbitrary file or directory. Use the Save to File operator to always create a new file for each response. You can add an exclamation mark to overwrite any existing file. Besides explicit file paths, you can use the predefined variables. Project root points to the project root folder, and history folder points to the requests history folder. Earlier PHP Storm versions had two very similar facilities for keeping your saved locations, favorites and bookmarks. Starting with PHP Storm 2021.3, a unified bookmarks tool window will be used, with favorites being removed in the future. To add a bookmark on a specific line, file, or folder, use F3 on Mac OS or F11 on Windows and Linux. In this release, you can apply the checkout and rebase under current action to remote branches, which will let you check out the selected branch and rebase it on top of a currently checked out branch. Previously, this action was only available for local branches. The VCS settings, which you can find under Preferences, Version Control, have been streamlined and reorganized. The top-level node now provides the links to all available settings. The Git node is now structured according to the most important processes, commit, push, and update, and the parameters inside these sections are now organized in a more logical manner. A separate node for directory mappings has been added, and since background operations are now enabled by default, the background node no longer exists. That rounds up the major new features in PHP Storm 2021.3, but there's plenty more to discover. You can learn more on our blog and download the new version from our website. You'll find the necessary links in the video description. Thank you for watching.